Oh, hey guys, C Dog here, and well, today is April fifteenth, two thousand twelve. And you might wonder why I mentioned this. So, well, just think back. What happened a hundred years ago on this day? Titanic, American tragedy. Tons of American Irish died when the sink went. I'm not talking about that, but no, I'm talking about the James Cameron movie. In 1997, James Cameron produced a film, produced, written, and wrote, and drew, he drew, you know, the drawings, Titanic. Sorry, Leonardo DiCaprio, K. Winston, and some other people. If I had, had a cameo by a guy from from my mom's favorite soap opera, Young and Russell's. This film is very good. It's a good love story. It didn't even have to be about Titanic, you know? It, it could have been any old love story, but what we got is a great movie that's about Titanic, so, well. Of course, Jack and Rose are fictional, and some of the other characters are fictional. But, if you know Molly Brown, the annoying gossip queen, she was really real. real. So, yeah. So, what do you think? Uh, what do I think about the acting? Acting is spot on. Of course, Kate Winslet's laugh at the beginning when she first met Jack is kind of a little annoying, but I got one nitpick, and it consists of four syllables: PG thirteen. It has nipples in it. It's got a new drawing scene, and PG thirteen. In fact, it has, now. It's got the F word bombing, but I know there's a rule out there. As long as you say the F bomb once, it can be PG 13. But really, guys, you drew naked. You had it. Now, drawing naked people, one thing. But having a newsy where you see live breasts, that's because for PG 13. And it was made in 1997. There was tons of horror films with news like Halloween and Friday the 13th. Those can be considered front PG-13 if they cut to one, you know, F-bomb. What's the difference? Anyway. Minor neck pick, but good movie. What do I give it? Five out of five. Bye.